Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I want to do something a little bit sort of pretty, a little bit more sort of like shabby because um, I haven't done anything like that for ages. So I have got a canvas. This is one of the Arteza canvases, which is 8x8. Eight eight. Um, and I've got a piece of my um, fabric here, um, which I'm going to cover. And then I'm going to make a like a little lace Christmas tree on there. Um, so I've got all my bits of cut up sort of like bits of lace. It's just sort of like off cuts that I've got. Um, I was given ages ago lots of bits of off cuts and things like that. So I thought I would use them and they are just gorgeous. They are lots of lovely little bits that you can just cut up um, and all sorts of bits in there. So what I've done... I've cut some up into little sections like this. Um, let me pop those to the side. I've tried to sort of get it ready. Um, and what I've got to do, these are like little um, just sections of, I think it's obviously a wedding dress or something like that. So I thought I would use these just to put on. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to quite do it or which way round it's going to go. But sort of like that. That goes on the top um, and then we just add some little bits so it's sort of like Christmas tree shape. Um, but first what I would like to do is cover the canvas with um, this piece of cotton um, fabric like that. So I've got my glue gun and, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a little bit to the middle. Now I want to stick it down obviously properly but I don't want the glue coming through. So I know in the middle that's where um, the tree is going to be. So I'm just going to turn this over and then we will add a little bit of glue there. Like that on each corner. So you could you, you could do something like this but you could use an old canvas. Um, these are just like the board canvases. Um, so if you've already sort of like painted over one and you didn't really like it, you could cover it up like that so you can reuse it. So, oh my glue gun's a bit stuck, there we go. So let's just pop a little bit on here, pull it quite tight. Now, I'm getting back into using my glue gun again, as you can probably tell. Um, so it's a lot lot quicker to use but it does make a bit of a mess with all the little bits and pieces all the little threads that come out so just cover this up like that pull it nice and tight so I thought it was about time I tried to do something a little bit pretty I haven't done anything sort of pretty pretty for ages oops um, I need to get back into making some shabby stuff, some nice pretty shabby stuff with some lace. I need to dig it all out. So I thought making a little Christmas canvas would be a good start again. Like that. Ooh. Stick this down. And there we go. Let's have a look. Perfect. So that looks really nice. These little bits out of the way. Let's just make sure we're in the middle. That's about right. Okay, so these are just really pretty, really, really pretty. I've cut them around as close as I would like to go. I don't mind that these pieces are sort of showing the sort of like net pieces. Um, so I just want to sort of, which way around shall we go? And this is just sort of like make it so we've got the bottom of the tree i don't want to make it too too hugely big this is a piece that had already been cut off so i thought that would be the perfect shape for the top of the tree like that and these can just sort of like fit in and then i've got other bits oh i was going to sneeze then oops it would sort of like just we can fill in if it need be so I'm just going to start sticking. Now I'm just going to quickly move my chair. 
because it's a bit too high. I'm just going to go a little bit lower so my head doesn't hit the camera. Let's see if that's a little bit better. That's a bit better. So I won't get my head in the way, hopefully. Now, let's see. I did have another piece. I think there was a full one, but look at that. Doesn't that make a lovely little top of the tree? That one's a bit broken. I think this one is all there. So if I cut that out, that would go lovely on the top of the tree, wouldn't it? So let me just get some scissors. It's sort of got like a little star piece on there. They've got tiny, we probably can't see, but they've got tiny little sequins on this one. Little clear sequins, so it might be a little bit too big. But let's have a look. It's a bit lopsided, let's cut these little bits off. Oh, that looks quite nice though, doesn't it? That's the top of the tree. Right, I'm just going to start gluing. Right, I'm going to pop this piece on just so it's sort of at the top and that doesn't go too far up. So again, I'm going to use my glue gun because I know it will stick down nicely. Like this. These glue sticks seem to be a sort of funny old colour. So I hope it doesn't poke through. There we go. It can be quite scruffy anyway, can't it? So it doesn't have to be perfect. Stick these little bits down, make sure they're stuck down properly. Now, which way did this go? Sort of fits quite nicely on there, doesn't it? Let me just lift it up. Right, I'm going to take that piece off and then I'm just going to pop a bit down there so it stays in place. Like that. That's gone a bit yellowy. This is a funny old colour, these glue sticks. So we've got to make sure that they don't come through. A little bit on here. Oops. Stick down. Lovely. Now this side. Oops. There we go. Stick this piece up there. This is lots of sticking and gluing on this one, but I think it's going to look really pretty afterwards. So I know that you can get sort of like secondhand, sort of like pretty um, wedding dresses in charity shops. Um, so I know people um, put them in there. So if you ever find one, do pick it up because they can you can use them for so many different three things and especially if you like shabby chic stuff I think that looks really pretty really really lovely I am liking this so let's just cut these little net bits out do. If you can see this has got sort of like little pearls on there little diamondy sort of thing bead in there which is nice so I'm going to just stick you on the top like that as the top of the tree and get all this glue off my fingers it in the middle there we go pop that on top What does that look like? That looks pretty, doesn't it? Right, now I want some extra little bits like these that I cut out. I did have two of these and I think I've just lost it in this big um, mass of um, lace. So I'm sure I must have another bit that I can cut out. All these lovely bits. 
let's have a look. What did it look like? What's on this bit? How pretty these are. They would look nice, wouldn't they? Let's cut this off. Because they're already cut up, I don't mind cutting them further. But I'm not quite sure how I would feel cutting into a big wedding dress. Like this. So, I need my bigger scissors, I think. Cut these little bits out. Okay, let's get all these little bits and pieces off so these can just sort of fill in some of the sections. Which way should we have this? Could even come down, couldn't it? There, now let's have a look. Let's take this piece off here. I don't want to cover up what I've already put down. But I want to cover up some of the little gap bits with this. So let's just see, just so it fills in some of the little gappy bits. You can see it's almost sort of like um, 3D, if you know what I mean. It gives it a bit of depth to it as well. A little bit of one of the little... I'm not quite sure whether I like that. That's nice. Where did that other one go? What did I do with that? There we are. There it is. So I'm just going to stick that on top. Oops, don't want that dry bit of glue on there. Let's put a bit more, a tiny bit. on here stick you down that stick and then this little bit here just on there Gorgeous. Right, I want to give it, obviously, a little, um, stick that bit down, a little trunk for our tree, whether I could do it as a, as a little pot or an actual trunky bit. Let's have a look. What have I got here? What's this? That's, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? A bit too big. Hmm, that's quite nice. Or oh, I have a little bit of shiny. Oh, we could have a nice little shiny trunky bit, couldn't we? Let's cut these bits off. That's quite nice. But I think it would probably have to go underneath let's just let's just stick this down a little bit fold that in half so if you've got all lots of little shiny bits of fabric this would be a perfect wouldn't it Oops. Okay, let's see what that looks like under there. That looks nice, doesn't it? Let's just stick this little bit down here. Just fold over. Stick 
do it. Okay. So well, that's not really the middle, is it? That wasn't very good. Let's come over a little bit. Mm, sort of the middle, isn't it? Still might hurt this because this is so pretty. Oops. Along the bottom. Like that. But I'd have to cut these little bits off, I think. I don't want them sticking underneath. So, where's my scissors gone? Let's just chop that little bit off there. And this little bit off. Yeah, let's lift it up a little bit. Oh, I think that looks better anyway. A little bit lopsided our tree, isn't he? But it's a lovely. I think I'm going to take one of these and sort of even up tree a little bit. I think that looks better, doesn't it? Let's stick that on there. Let's take a look. There we go. That's a little bit more even, isn't it? I think. And then we can put that along the bottom. Like that. don't think we need that. So I think I would probably cut this little bit off here. So that fits there. So that would probably go in the middle, wouldn't it? I don't want it too big. That's completely wrong because that's going up and that's going down. It's this bit that we need to cut off. Like that. That's it. That's better. So we know this goes in the middle. So we stick that over the little tree trunky bit. Let's get rid of you. on there that's lovely I'm liking that that's really pretty isn't it maybe I should have made that a little bit longer but that's okay Ooh. now I have got some of these as well so these are just like big sort of like gems and you sort of sew them onto your um, work, whatever, if you're making dresses or something like that. Now these are quite pretty, aren't they? Let's have a look. What would that look like? That would look very blingy. You could have those. Or I did have, this is some like little thin, very thin, silver beady, um, like embellishment so I could have that coming down that would look nice wouldn't it but how are we going to stick this on without getting lots and lots of glue everywhere take a tiny tiny bit on the end whoops Put 
dry. Let me just see what the... Oh, we're doing okay for time. We're good for time. Go this way. And then this way. That would look nice with it. Tiny, tiny bit there. It's very light, this um, little beady stuff. Gosh. So I'm going to put that there. And this, oops, I'm stuck. Wouldn't it? So let's stick the other piece just here. Stick those bits down in a minute. And then this can go like that. This piece just oh maybe we don't maybe I could just put that there so we just sort of like have a little bit lower I think that will be best I'm going to cut that off there on so it goes back up this way it would look nice wouldn't it like that let's see mm. let's give it a go we can always take it off if we don't like it Tiny bit of glue on there. That can go there. Like this. This can then go here. This can come down to there. Like that. Okay, so let's have a look. So pretty. I quite like these hanging off like that. Now I'm going to add maybe a couple of these. Do you think they're too big? Oh, I quite like those actually. Quite liking that. I can get glue off my fingers. So we put them on the ends like this. can go in the middle of these. Maybe they can go where they sort of like meet in the middle. I'm going to do that because I think that looks really nice. So let's start with this one. A little blob of glue and that can just hold there. And this one just hold Stick that down. Just 
do have some smaller one of ones of these as well somewhere. Lovely little shiny bling baubles. I could do with some little pearls would look quite nice, wouldn't it? Should we even it up a little bit with a couple more? What would that look like? That look better, wouldn't it? They're probably all telling me no more. That's enough. Or more. No more. Or lots more. There. Oh, I'm loving that. Oh, how pretty is that? That is gorgeous. Now, I did have four of these, which I was thinking about sort of like popping into the corners, but I'm quite liking it without even, do I have any? did have a little bit of ribbon here somewhere. What did I do with that? Where has that gone? Here we go. This is just sort of like plain white. What would that look like around the edge? I'm not going to fit over the top. I'm actually quite liking it as it is. I might even um, find a frame to put that in. Doesn't quite look in the middle though, does it? But I'm loving it. I think I'm going to leave it there. And then I might come back and add a few bits. I will probably stick glue gun a little top to it like that. Just so it can be hung up. Maybe we could put... Oh, I wonder if we could put some little presents under the tree. What could we do? Some little shiny ones. Mm, lots of things. Little lacy ones. Let's have a think. I might actually make some. Right, I will be back. I haven't finished this. I'm going to go and find out what we can make for some presents. So I will be back to finish this off. So two seconds. Okay, so what I have done with the little presents, I've just cut a little square of lace. Um, I put a little cross on there with the... Um, little ball stuff on their trim and then did a little bow at the top so that's like this one so I'm going to show you how I did the bow so I've stuck the little cross on there and then I've just sort of like tied this in a bow it's not the easiest thing to tie in a bow but it does work like that just put it down it won't pull tight, but you can glue it at the back. So what I'm going to do, whoops, Daisy, cut these little bits off like that. And then I'm just going to get some of the glue gun and stick that on the top. Whoopsie Daisy, like that, which is perfect. And then I'm going to stick this down with a little bit of fabric tack so it doesn't come through like that. And I'm going to pop him on just under the tree like that. And then I'm going to stick this one down. And I just think it's lovely. Just finishes it off lovely, doesn't it? Whoops. There we go. Two little presents under the tree. How cute is that? So I think that's lovely. So there we go. That's a little project. Just a little Christmas tree. So I can pop that downstairs. Um, and I think that will look lovely. 
I think I will. I'm going to just take a little bit of this. Let's move this out of the way. Just make a little top to this. I hope this will be okay if I turn it over. Let's just glue it down here. Oops. It's stuck everywhere. Or is my head in the way? I'm going to bend it like that. If I was giving this away, I would cover the back up as well. Sorry, my battery just went then, so I've just changed the battery. So I have just got that on there, so I'm hang, hanging that up with a little bit of ribbon. So that can be hung up um, like that, just as it is, or you can pop it into a frame. I probably will look for a, um, a nice little wooden frame for this, because um, I think it's really pretty. But there we go, guys. Nice little shabby tree. Nice lacy and blingy. So I think that looks really pretty. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, please stay safe, take care. So if you've got any nice little bits of lace, you don't have to have big bits, you can have little bits um, as well and just sort of do, um, add little bits on there. Um, it might be a little bit easier than to try and sort of like um, even them up a little bit, but I think that looks really nice. All right, guys, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. All right, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.